We're at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium, where tonight we bring you NBL Oak action between two of the top teams in the area. It's the Windsor Jaguars at 14 and 5, visiting Cardinal Newman. Newman at 19 and 0, undefeated, and in first place in league play. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, along with Troy Stevenson. And Troy, uh, we were maybe looking forward to both these teams being undefeated, but. Windsor lost to Montgomery early in the week, so you know they're going to come out here really fired up tonight, and everybody is looking to be the team that upsets Cardinal Newman and gives them that first loss. Windsor can control their destiny with a win right now and make it a three-way tie for first place. No doubt that the Jags are going to be fired up here tonight. These teams really have quite a little rivalry going in for Windsor. It's been uh, Jaden Rosati that's really carried them scoring-wise. He's a good shooter, and Newman will have to really be aware of him in terms of where he is on the floor offensively. Jaden Rosati is an absolute athlete. Watch him get out and try to get a dunk to get this crowd going. Uh, he can shoot from outside, and he's the, he, he's the catalyst that makes Windsor offense go. For Cardinal Newman, they have the big three in Klein, Vogenson, and Krillich. And Krillich has really been the guy that's been playing very well for them. Krillich can shoot the ball outside, a little bit bigger um, uh, of their big three. And you're right, he does a little bit of everything. And uh, we're excited to see the matchup. And you see that starting line. Sam Klein is their leading scorer. Uh, we assume probably Vogenson's going to be guarding Rosati. That'll be a matchup to watch tonight for sure. And uh, as we take a look real quick at the standings here in the North Bay League, you see Cardinal Newman sitting at 5-0 in league, 19-0 overall. Montgomery and Windsor tied at 4-1. Foul language. Any inappropriate behavior, you will be removed. Our referees wearing the stripes, blowing the whistle tonight will be Mark Sims and Charlie Wisdom. We are getting ready to jump center here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. Windsor in their black with gold trim. Cardinal Newman in their white with Cardinal and gold, and we are underway. Bogenson has it for Cardinal Newman as the Cardinals look to score first. The scouting report is out on Cardinal Newman. They're going to run their dribble drive offense, and here we go. Krillich to Bogenson. Penetration and kick. Long three on the way for Klein, and he doesn't get it. Nice rebound for Windsor's Finn Grace. Grace makes a nice little move. Kicks it back up to the top. Colin Kraft has it. Coach Taylor and Coach Kramer have known each other for a long time, so they're very familiar with each other's personnel and what they're going to do offensively and defensively. Yeah, Steve Kramer, who has been an athletic director at the school, took over the coaching job just before the season started this year. And uh, great to see him back in the coaching ranks, one of the great all-time players. Played at Piner for coach Mike Gaddy back in the late 80s, early 90s. Diego Gonzalez gives it up to Klein. Klein on a drive, dishes, Mati, Kamara underneath. Great drive by Klein. Mati Kamara did what the big is supposed to do in that dribble drive offense and work short corner to short corner. Gets underneath the defense and gets an easy layup. So Newman scores first. the glass and good that's Hayden Anderson he decided to come out for basketball late after the football season and they were happy to have him sophomore first time I saw Hayden Anderson up at the rebate tournament I said to myself that's a sophomore look yeah. like a senior to me yeah there's a nice spin move by Krillich and he goes off the glass and good Drew Krillich I really like how Drew Kerlich has developed as a basketball player. Last two years, I don't know if he had that confidence to make that move in a game like this and looked real easy. Yeah, even as this season has gone on, he has gotten better and better. Turnover, Newman gives it up. Dave, let's or excuse me, Windsor gives it up. Dave, let's watch uh, Newman potentially backdooring from the corner right now. I've noticed, you know, out of, out of bounds play or something. They've done the dribble drive. Bogenson has it now, looking to penetrate, slips on the floor, and that's a turnover by Newman. Windsor looking to run the floor, they do, and it's a lay-in. Nice job, Rosati gets the lay-in right there. Windsor ties it up, 4-4, Krillich for three, 
and one. Count it. He's fouled and will go to the line for a chance at a four-point play. Drew Krillich. Krillich. Right here, we're going to see Krillich do that spin move, come back. The help's not there, and he gets an easy layup. On that last shot, he definitely got hit in the chest and had to focus and knock down the three. Krillich does complete the four-point play, and Newman now leads it by four. And we've got a hold away from the ball underneath. Boganson trying to keep Rosati from getting the ball. There's that last play by Krillich. Yeah, Kraft did a good job closing out. Just need to chop his feet a little bit, show his hands, and not, you know, make that contact. If he makes a shot, hey, he makes a shot. There's Rosati. Might have been blocked by Krillich. Windsor gets it back. Hayden Anderson for three rattles the rim, and it comes out. There's Rosati, another offensive rebound. That's got to be a concern for Coach Taylor. Twice in a row, Windsor has come up with the rebound on their end and almost. Finn Grace gets fouled on the way. He will go to the line. Nice spin move. I saw that Thursday game, Montgomery at, at Windsor. Just from the start, Rosati just looks like a lot more aggressive from the get-go, and that's what he has to do in this game, going after those 50-50 balls and giving his team a chance. First one good. Second one good as well for Finn Grace. Tightens it up. 8-6. Newman by two. Nice drive by Boganson. Mati Kamara. And he puts it back up and in. Nice job by Kamara. Great offensive rebound, Kamara. And what a nice touch to see that guy kiss it off the glass. Kamara, the 6'1 post player that plays more like he's 6'5 or 6'6. Take away by Newman. Couple turnovers by Windsor here in this first quarter so far. They'll have to clean that up. Here's Sam Klein now, guarded by Anderson. Klein looking to penetrate. He dishes to Boganson. Boganson all the way to the rack. Got it to roll in. Not an easy shot. Going to his left, shooting with his right, but he got it to dribble in. Boganson's such an all-around good, uh, all good player that you got to respect so much of this game. He gets an easy one right there, and so does Grace. Then Grace. Krillich might have traveled. Yes. Here we go. We're seeing what Klein with the the, the drive kicks it out, doing the little dribble drive to Bogusin, and he gets that sweet layup. Three twenty to go here in the first quarter. Windsor and Cardinal Newman here in the North Bay League from Santa Rosa, California. And the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. There's Finn Grace with a jump hook. No good. Windsor looking to post up with Grace inside. It's worked a little bit so far here tonight. Here comes Diego Gonzalez on a drive. And he's fouled by Rosati. When I spoke to Coach Taylor before the game, one of his keys to success was specifically how are we going to guard Grace in the post and not let him get going and uh, and just and, and, and tear down our defense. We got to be able to guard him without fouling. Gonzalez, one of two sophomores that start for Coach Taylor, and he got the first one on a nice little roll. Couple fresh legs, Barrow Puehu checks in now for Newman. He'll replace Madi Kamara in the post. And Diego Gonzalez gets the second one to go. Double, 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 
14-8. Newman maintaining a six-point lead. Into the corner it goes, and that one is all net. Nice shot by Colin Kraft. Kraft sticking a three, and that pulls Windsor to win it two. Not easy to make that three right in front of the danger zone, uh, but Kraft did a great job staying focused and, and uh, keeping the team in it. Gonzalez spins, tries to get it over to Pueo, but Hayden Anderson has it. Anderson on a drive. Block. Nice job by Aiden McLaughlin to get back defensively and block the shot. Newman maintaining the lead. Here's Klein off the mark. Good battle for the rebound inside. One this time by Finn Grace. There's Rosati. And he's bumped. Rosati will go to the line. Coach Taylor shouting his instructions. Hard fought battle here. Both guys known for man to man defense. Good job by Windsor to contest Klein. I think that would have really erupted the, uh, the crowd if he would have got that after that McLaughlin block. Got it out to Rosati and was able to just, you know, get to the line. Rosati makes it 14-13. Oh, and a turnover right there. Vogenson was looking for Klein. Somehow didn't see it coming. And Windsor takes back over now with a chance to take the lead. Good crowd here tonight as we expected. Nearly a full house. Great to see. It's good to get back to normal. Yeah, absolutely. Down low it goes. Coelho right there to take it away for Newman. Looked like they were kind of sagging into a little 2-3 zone there. Traditional Taylor defense. Coach Taylor defense. Hey, ball goes in the post. Hey, we all have to help and, you know, try to take away the paint. Luckily, uh, Coelho got his hand on it. Sam Klein has it. Now it's Diego Gonzalez. Krillich looking for McLaughlin. Newman working the shot clock down under five. Klein's going to have to put it up himself. Step back three. I don't think he got the rim, though. Close, but didn't hit it. Right there. I, I think I would have liked to see Klein get the ball, kind of go four low and try to, you know, penetrate and get something a little bit closer right there we're seeing when uh, Kraft was able to hit that shot I think he, he said something to the danger zone um, we knew it was going to be an intense game and he got three right there there's Kraft again penetrates tries to dish and that one's kicked reset the shot clock Under a minute to go. Then Grace kicks it out, blocked by Krillich, but it ends up in the hands of Kraft, and he gets it to drop. Wow. Great job by Kraft sticking with it, following his shot, and getting that bucket. Windsor now leads by one. There goes Krillich. Kraft has five points and an offensive foul. The Windsor bench fired up. And they'll have a chance to hold on for the final shot of this first quarter now. You know, I always get fired up when someone, you know, gives up their body for the team and takes a charge. A little bit of moisture on the court. You see Krillich. Take a seat. Coach Taylor giving him and, and Vogelson a quick little breather. I'm sure we're going to see them early into that second quarter. And we'll finally get this back in play now with 32.6 to go. 
Shot clock is off. Under 30. Little weave action by by uh, Windsor to kind of burn some time before, before getting into a set. Judson Anderson has checked in. Hayden's brother. He's a junior. Kept alive. Running out of time. It's Sam Klein with a three-quarter court shot at the buzzer. And the first quarter comes to an end. So some good action. No question about that. But it is Windsor taking a one-point lead into the break. Nice job by both teams. Off to a good start here as we anticipate this being quite a ball game. We'll be back with more action from the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. Quarter number two gets set to get underway. take a look at the California Division Three. Cardinal Newman is currently number three in the entire state with Midian and San Ramon Valley. They're all in the North Coast section as well. So that's kind of interesting. Actually, Midian's in the Central Coast section. A lot of good basketball right there from that list. Clark. Quarter number two underway. That one's off the mark. Klein has the rebound. There's Madi Kamara. Up top to Klein. Diego Gonzalez. Mati gets it back to Diego. They're going to post up Vero. Something we saw a little bit on Tuesday where they had both their post players in the game at the same time in Mati and Vero. Rosati did a great job coming down to help and getting that block from behind. Into the corner. That's a three. Jaden Rosati. It's like in baseball. Guy does a play defensively then gets up to bat next time and hits a home run or something. We right. didn't even see that. Yeah. Windsor by four. Newman's had a few games where they got off to kind of sluggish first half starts. Kind of being held low, but their defense has been so good. There's Madi Kamara, a little outside shot for him. Not something we see a lot of from him, but he does have a good touch. Windsor to the corner, now up top. Rosati will try for two in a row. Madi Kamara, great timing on that rebound. Bringing it the other way now, Sam Klein. Hayden Great Anderson outlet. Finds Judson, excuse me, finds Hayden way out in front of the pack and an easy lay-in I got a Windsor. I got a feeling they've done that throughout their life a few times. Yeah. Quick reaction by Judson to find Hayden in transition there. Sam Klein. And a blocking foul. No, that's going to go the other way. That's five team fouls now on Newman as that one goes against Sam Klein. With, with, a, with a little bit of a lead right now, great time for Windsor to run a set. Watch them going high-low. I saw some high-low action I haven't seen earlier in the year by Windsor. Um, Thursday night versus Montgomery. But trying to get that ball in um, somewhere in the post. Take away by Krillich. 
another offensive foul call. This one goes against Windsor, so both teams creating some offensive fouls. Good defense. And we'll put it back in play now. Sometimes during the big game, you got some of those jittery feet, and you're doing some of those things you don't typically do. Klein up top now, under six to go. There goes Boganson trying to dish it across, taken away. Tough pass to try to get through there, and Joseph Campbell was right there for Windsor. Judson Anderson trying to drive. He dishes into the corner. Another three ball on the way. Sam Klein has it. Backdoor cut, Gavin Boganson. They, nice they run that dribble drive so well. Boganson reading his defender, probably saw the back of his head. Defender got caught ball watching. Boganson, easy two. Rosati at the other end, got it to drop. Not an easy shot. Rosati off to a nice start. He has nine. Boganson again. McLaughlin travels. Okay, here we are with Newman coming down. Here's a little dribble drive action. Frillick goes to the corner. Oh, ball watching. And so Vogelson knows to go back door. Easy layup. Well executed. Sam Klein's going to sit down for a moment. Windsor doing a nice job defending him. Place continues to fill up. The football banquet was tonight, so I know the football players were going to probably get here a little bit late, but I think they made it now. Into the corner it goes. That one's good. Hayden Anderson. Nice bucket there. Coach Kramer's got to love getting some some buckets like that when um, he's got Rosati on, on the bench trying to get a breather. Windsor has it with an eight-point lead midway through this second quarter. The Jags off to a very nice start after trailing by six in the first quarter. They now lead by eight. Biggest lead for either team. Into the paint it goes. That was Ben Geist. And Windsor throws it away. Right here we saw Hayden go baseline a little bit. Nice little spin. Got up on his shot. Kissed it off the glass. That last play looked like Windsor was trying to do a little high-low action with uh, with Grace and uh, Geist. Back in play it goes now. Newman trailing here. 19-0 on the year. 5-0 in the North Bay League. Oak. Diego Gonzalez to Krillich. Diego trying to dump it inside. He'll have to hustle after it. Tried to get it to Boganson down there on the block. Couldn't do it. Windsor's defense. Very stingy. Klein doesn't hit. Hasn't hit a three yet. They'll need him to heat up. That was a great defensive stance by Windsor. Really getting down in their and, and showing their hands and trying to slide. Step back, Joseph Campbell off the mark. Klein has it. Newman kind of ratcheting their intensity up a little bit now. Klein spins on Rosati, finds Gonzalez. Little strong. And a push underneath. It's going to go against Newman. That's 16 fouls. Oh, excuse me, that went against Windsor. Ben Grace, so Newman will get I, an inbound. I was right there with you, Dave. I thought they had called it on Newman. Well, get another shot. Teams are now even with five. Oh, excuse me, Windsor only has four team fouls. Five and four. Here's Rosati. Nice pass inside, Finn Grace. Finn Grace gets the layup, but Colin Kraft really deserves the credit of getting down and sliding and cutting it off and, and starting that, that break on the defensive side. Boganson drives and dishes. Krillich. Tough shot. Krillich got it. Wow. In traffic. 
Krillich, like we talked earlier, the confidence of doing that spin, he was just bigger and taller right there and was able to shoot over Kraft. Krillich has eight points and three rebounds here in the first half. And Windsor turns it over. Dan Pine now dribbles it up for Newman as they try to get a little momentum back here as we close out this first half of play. An eight-point lead for the Windsor Jacks. Boganson gets it to Gonzalez. Up top to Krillich now, guarded by Rosati. Boganson again, he'll try and penetrate. He does. Kicks it out. Gonzalez open. He'll drive and dish. Shot clock at five. Boganson in the paint. He'll go up with it. Offensive rebound, Boganson, but now it's taken away by Windsor. Newman not shooting well. They leave a little lane and taking advantage is Finn Grace. He goes right down the middle of the Newman defense and lays it in. Wow. Great job by Grace. You know, breaking the paint, as some coaches call it, and kind of uh, altering that is, is, is uh, pumping and getting that layup. Krillich off the mark. Newman down by 10. Look out, Rosati dunks it all. Jaden Rosati with an exclamation point on that one. At the other end, no good. 35 seconds to go, and Newman down by 12. Jaden Rosati. Getting into the get up club and the big game. Gotta love that. Here we go. Pushing the ball. Didn't get back defensively. Two hand smash. Newman trying to get something positive here to end the half. Krillich can't find it. Mati Kamara, great hustle, but he touched the line. Windsor will have a chance to hold on for the final shot. Dave, I think we both have noticed that a lot of kids are slipping on this floor. Um, hopefully, you know, we're not, we won't see that in the second half. We can you know, get that kind of cleared up. But I'd probably say about four or five times I've seen kids kind of slip more than they naturally would. Yeah, well, it's no secret that there's no heat in this gym right now. And it does get a little cool. It does get a little moist at times. They've been trying really hard to keep it dry. And hopefully the heater will be fixed, they say, sometime later in the year. Shot clock's off. Winding down. That one off the mark. Newman will have a chance for the last shot if Puea can get it off. He does, but it is no good. And the first half comes to an end with Windsor up big. Taking it to Newman a little bit, Troy. That was a great quarter for the Jags. Awesome quarter for the Jags. You know what? I think that uh, Thursday night game really kind of got them awake. And, and like we said earlier, they got the ability to control their outcome. And, and they came ready to play. No doubt about it. Well, the first half of play in the books. And it is all Windsor right now. We'll take a break and be back with some highlights of the first half of play as you learn more about Cardinal Newman High School. The English department prepares students to analyze and write at the college level so their essays and expressions of ideas stand out and get noticed, not only at the college level, but through life. In theology classes, we explore God through the Catholic lens and help students connect the mysteries and gifts of our faith with the realities of the world. We help students learn to provide service to others and their community. 
as a means of living the principles of our faith. Through the arts, dance, modern band, drama, and studio art, students develop their creativity and imaginations to express themselves in ways not possible in traditional academics. Our math and science programs guide students into college level work with an emphasis on ensuring they can meet the rigors of engineering, medicine, and scientific research college pathways. Uh, we ensure a solid foundation in history while analyzing modern day challenges to ensure students are prepared for success in a multicultural, multi-religious world. Our students take a deep dive into the culture behind the languages they learn. Whether it's French, Spanish, or Latin, our students develop the language skills in ways that expand their awareness and appreciation of other cultures. We approach athletics differently from most schools by focusing on the science of human performance, supporting students with certified athletic trainers, and having professional coaches who are experts in their sport and in motivating young adults. Breaks a tackle and he's gone on the very first play! Oh! With two college counselors and three grade level counselors, we support students through their high school career and expertly guide them through their college selection and scholarship applications. High school goes by in a flash, but if you make the most of it, you'll have lifelong memories and skills needed for college and beyond. It smells like, like, like condiments, like mustard and ketchup. affect those around you and your community. It matters who you buy from, where you bank, your footprint on the environment. Since 1959, there has been a local financial cooperative that is distinctively different from a bank. Its charter requires it to do good, good for its members, their kids, and the communities where they live. That cooperative is Community First Credit Union. Anyone in the counties of Sonoma, Napa, Mendocino, Marin, or Lake can join. By banking with a credit union instead of a bank, not only do you get better rates, lower and fewer fees, but your locally earned dollars stay local. With Community First, you help people, businesses, and the schools where you live. Community First is also a leader in tech conveniences. The first with contactless debit cards, perfect in this pandemic era. We were the first locally based bank or credit union with an app to make deposits via your smartphone. And the first with 24-7 virtual banker powered by artificial intelligence. I want a bank where I get more. I want a bank where my community gets more. I want a bank where 80% of management are women. I want a bank where I can get the most free ATM stash of all these. We want a bank that teaches us money. About money. Bank, where it matters to you, personally, ethically, locally. Community First, started by local teachers in 1959, is here for good.
All right, 30 to 18 here at the halftime to check out the highlights of the first half of play. Take it away, Troy Taylor. Yeah, this is the this is the first play of the uh, first score. Triple drive. Madi Kamara does what the big is supposed to do. Just kind of goes uh, back and forth from short corner. No, I'm gonna have to do it. All right, there's the basket. Sorry, we had a little technical difficulty there. We lost our Wi-Fi connection, but we've got an alternate option, and we are back now. Moving quick on my feet, Troy. <laughs> Dave, you do an awesome job. The people at home can only see the magic you're doing over here. Thirty to twenty-three is the correct score. We see both teams draw fouls, get the top guys to the free throw line. A second ago, Klein was well, one for two. Now Grace is one for two, pushing that lead to eight. First point of the quarter for Windsor. Here's Gavin Vogelson. Newman trying to come back. Vogelson with the left hand, no good. Nice rebound, getting up for that one was Ben Geist for Windsor. Four minutes to go, third quarter. Geist flips it up to Campbell. That was a set play, you got the big flashing to try to go high-low. Newman does a great job. Cuello gets his hand and gets a steal. Takeaway, Windsor. Leave Grace to Campbell, and he got it. Nice bucket. Grace and Campbell running an awesome two-on-one, and, and Campbell gets the sweet reverse. Windsor back up to a 10-point lead. Diego Gonzalez flips to Klein. Klein has had a very tough time. He dishes to Kamara. Somehow that one didn't drop. My goodness, what do you got to do? There's the steal by Grace, pushing it ahead, waits for Vogelson to uh, stop the ball, and then you give it to Campbell for the, the easy reverse. Mati Kamara got the first one. Correct me, Dave, I said Pueyo the, the last time had the steal, but it was actually Mati Kamara. Steve Kramer pacing that bench. Knows Newman's going to put up a fight here. Second one off the mark. Rebound, Campbell. Windsor doing a nice job on defense, doing a very good job rebounding the basketball. They lead now by nine. Campbell on a drive. Tough shot, didn't get it. Kamara fouls Ben Geist, and Geist will go to the line. Tried to strip the ball away. I actually thought Campbell got fouled on that drive. Great job for Geist getting his hands on the offensive rebound, going back up, and now he'll get a couple from the charity stripe. First one off the mark. Second one, no good. Windsor scrambles after the offensive rebound. And there's a basket. Campbell. And one. Oh, they now call they it reverse off. it. Let's see it. They reverse the call. Campbell going baseline. It looked like Kerlick was kind of moving. Uh, I'd have to see that again, Dave. Steve Kramer really upset with the call. Kramer 
obviously quite upset. Referee's still kind of talking things over. I don't know what more there is to say. Windsor crowd's not thrilled. Here's another look. Campbell goes baseline right here. Curly gets there and looked like he was kind of falling already. Didn't take the contact. There's a reason I'm sitting by you and I'm not wearing the stripes. Yeah, that's a tough job. That, that, that call right there is the one that makes it really tough to be a referee. Krillick almost lost it. The lead is nine. Klein, tough night for Klein. He has one point in this game. Outside shot off the mark. Who's got it? Klein comes out of the pack with it. Klein racing ahead and a reach in. That's going to be five against Windsor. Diego Gonzalez set to check in. You know, if you're Klein, you're, you don't have the points in the scoring that you usually do, but you keep grinding. You keep yeah. playing hard because good things happen when you, you, you put forth that effort. Yeah, credit Windsor defense. They have really done a nice job shutting him down. Officials talking things over again. Dave, I, I would probably say at all the games I've been to this year, this has been the best crowd. Uh, the Sonoma County uh, Classic Championship between Newman over at Piner. That was a very nice crowd. So, like I, we said earlier, it's nice to see things getting back to normal. Absolutely. Steve Kramer still working the official. Mark Sim, I'm not sure what this one's about. Still upset about that offensive foul call, I know that. If I'm Mark Sims, I say, I hear you, coach. I'm going to look for it. Good thing you're winning. Yeah. are definitely putting a lot of pressure on Newman right now. Still a long way to go. Two minutes to go in the third. Nine-point lead for the Jags. Jags coming off that loss to Montgomery. There's Boganson. <laughs> Tough runner in traffic, but Boganson got it. Boganson is just so strong to take the contact, hang, and, and, and make that basket. Here's Krillich with some easy money. Newman on a nice little run, and the danger zone is fired up. Kurlitz with the nice still push ahead, easy bucket, cuts it to five. 12 and five for Krillitz, timeout taken by Windsor. Wow. Right there is this Kurlitz getting the still, driving it up. Kraft can't cut him off, and uh, he gets an easy two. Tonight's game is sponsored by Anchor 21 Branding. They're in Petaluma. They specialize in hats, T-shirts, and sweatshirts. Go to anchor21branding.com and get all your promotional needs met. They specialize in tremendous customer service. Also sponsoring tonight's game is Elite Excursions, a local luxury transportation business serving Sonoma, Napa, and Marin counties for over 15 years. Specialized in wine tours, weddings, sporting events, airport transfers. When you want to get there safely and on time and in style, it is elite excursions. Also, diamond service grading, the best way to get your cards and memorabilia graded. They are fast, they are accurate, they are transparent, and they are local. Well, thanks. Certainly interesting here. 
Okay. Minute 31 to go. You know, let's see what their after timeout play is, Windsor. Who do they got in? Maybe try to get to Gray, something low, uh, where he can draw a foul or get an easy bucket. Windsor with the ball and now a five point lead. Campbell gives it to Anderson. They're swinging it around the top. Looking for Grace. They do get it inside. Nice cut to the basket and Krillich blocks the shot. Drew Krillich. Second block of the night for Drew. Here's Klein. Boy, they could sure use him to get going a little bit into the corner. Boganson, McLaughlin, Krillich finds Boganson. Kind of tough to see right now. We got people standing <laughs> up in front of us. Klein with a floater. Doesn't drop somehow. Klein just cannot find a way to get a basket. Oh. Anderson tries to pass it, but Boganson is right there with both hands up. And now Newman can play for the final shot of this quarter. Anderson will try to drop a dime. We had a good vision on that. That's one angle we could see. Yeah. Now Newman can, uh, you know, really get into this lead. Or, or cut the lead, I should say. Flying. Driving. Partially blocked. Long shot. That is going to be at the buzzer, and that's the way. The third quarter comes to an end. Newman chips away at the lead. Their defense a little more solid. I don't even know when the last time they gave up 40 points in a game is, but they're in danger of doing that tonight. No question about it. So that's the way three quarters will play in here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. We will turn the page and be back with the final eight minutes of play in just a moment. That was a 10-3. Tonight's game is sponsored by North Bay Elite, the premier girls AAU program in Sonoma County. They have players playing at the Division I, Division II, Division III, and NAIA levels when you want the best in girls AAU basketball. Look no further than the North Bay Elite. Ready for the start of the final eight minutes in this one. Newman chipped away that last quarter, 10 to 3, Dave. And they did. There's the basket. Coach Kramer's got to like that coming out of that timeout. Rosati for an easy one. Rosati continues to lead the way for Windsor. They now are back up by seven. The other end, no good. Pueo has it for Newman. Krillich. Looking for an opening. Windsor's defense has been up to the task. Newman had a tough game on Tuesday night, or on Thursday night, I should say, against Piner. That one went into overtime, so that maybe gave Windsor a little confidence. You know, Piner almost had that game in the bag a couple of times. There's Klein for three. Still hasn't hit a field goal. Here comes Rosati now, down the lane. Klein there defensively, but Rosati lays it in. Easy basket, Windsor adding to the lead now, back up to nine. This is one area of the game where Newman cannot let it get too stretched out. And Kramer is going, or excuse me, Coach Time Taylor out. is going to take a timeout. Time Coach Kramer's got to like how Rosati came out and the, overall the whole team defensively. And we're going to see right now, Riz just pushing the ball. And able to just the athleticism to go to his left right there um, that's got to be one of the things coach Taylor's talking about hey get back defensively as a unit we've got to stop the ball earlier 
And then the half court set, just passing around and trying to look to, to get to Finn and Grace in the, and that was the block by uh, Drew Curlish. Packed house here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. Gotta love the support. Kind of reminds me of the old days a little bit, Troy. <laughs> we used to have some pretty packed houses. Yes. I, I feel like uh, they're very common in the old days, and uh, and now they're starting, like we said, getting back to this more often, and it's great, and it's good for the community. Six thirty-nine to go. A nine-point lead for Windsor. Newman with the ball. Trying to get back into it. Sam Klein up top. Tough night for the Newman sharpshooter. Tries to work another one. Just can't get one to drop. Tell he is super frustrated right now. About a long way to go. Dave, th these guys have played Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday this week. Little different. You yeah. know, legs might, you know, be taking effect. Mahdi Kamara with a little push from behind. Fourth team foul. Windsor with the lead and the leather. Six minutes to play here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. Cardinal Newman's undefeated season on the line. There's Mahdi Kamara with a rebound. Sam Klein brings it up now. This is to Krillich. And Krillich is fouled. Referee's trying to tighten things up just a little bit. Six-team foul against Windsor, I believe. Yeah, so... Newman very close to getting into the bonus. Coach Tanner's probably, you know, just keep attacking, get, get it to seven, start knocking down our free throws, and just keep chipping away. Still a little early to say, hey, we got to start going for three pointers. Um, hopefully, by the two minute mark, things are different on the scoreboard. Krillich at the line. Didn't get it. That was actually the seventh team foul, so they are now in the bonus. Peyton Anderson lays it in with the left hand. Great shot. That was almost like a little bit of Windsor's version of the dribble drive. And Hayden goes left and scores it. And that shows his athleticism for the sophomore. 11 point lead for Windsor. Whistle underneath. Coach Taylor shouting instructions. Newman's going to have a chance to shoot quite a few free throws. 5.20 to go. And. They're almost in the double bonus. That one's good. Okay, they cut it to 10 right now, Dave, with about five minutes. Let's see after a made basket if they pick up three quarters or even full court, just because you're getting to that five minute mark pretty soon. And you've only got so much time left. Gavin took a little walk right there, and now he's going to come back in. 39-29. Hoganson doesn't get the second one. He hit two clutch free throws with five seconds to go in the Pioneer game to give them a one-point victory on Thursday night. Windsor still up. Judson Anderson. He double dribbled. Mark Sims all over that call. Defense, 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 defense. 
at the danger zone so politely let the let Anderson know you can't do that. No, you can't do that. Newman will continue to try to chip away. They got it down to five. Great defense by Anderson on Klein, but he fouls him. Coach Kramer not super excited about that call, and now Sam Klein will go to the free throw line. Klein, who's averaging close to 20 points a game, has been really shut down in this one. Good for a shooter and a scorer like him just to get, you know, hopefully some two free throws right here to see the ball go through the basket. Does get the first one. Couple player checking back in now. Joseph Campbell. Klein doesn't get the second. Windsor with the ball now in a nine-point lead with 4.40 to go. Nice move. Geis dishes underneath. Laying good by Hayden Anderson. Great ball movement by Windsor. They are clicking on all cylinders. Anderson really plays bigger than he is. Just down low there. Good job by Grace drawing the defense. And Anderson just, just scores an easy bucket to keep that lead. 41-30. Newman gets an inside bucket from Loganson. Much needed. The lead is nine. Newman's defense has been so tough. They have been very difficult to score 40 on. Windsor has done it tonight. They have 41 already. Mati Kamara fighting for it. Grillich has it. McLaughlin wasn't looking, but he does somehow manage to get the ball. That pass blocked by Campbell. Wow. Up and down and up and down. Good job by all these student athletes. Long week like we said, having three games. Most people here watch the Niners win today and, and they're putting on a, a, a just a great show and good effort in this game. Boganson inbounds. Windsor with some great energy. They are really making it difficult for Newman to do everything. Fired up, I guess you could say. I had a feeling they would be after that loss to Montgomery on Thursday night. Boganson has it. Trying to penetrate. Ball on the ground. It's going to stay with Newman. You know, I might agree with Coach Kramer on that one. I thought Hayden Anderson was just kind of going for the ball, and that was a 50-50. I'd have to see it again, but the refs saw it differently. Problem for Newman is they're not hitting their free throws right now. Mati Kamara will go to the line this time. Well, they've had a chance to really chip away at things. That only works if you can hit those free throws. Body doesn't get it. I mean, it wasn't even close. He was shooting two, however, so they are now in the double bonus. Three twenty-nine, Dave. I'm curious if now we'll see a press. Kamara misses both, but he scoops up his own miss and misses a lay-in. My goodness. Newman's going to hang on to it, it looks like, though. Wow. I got a feeling I know what Newman's going to be practicing on Monday. Oh, my goodness. Free throws have been terrible. Lay-ins. Nothing really dropping. I think they maybe only have one or two threes all night long. Here's Diego Gonzalez now. Goes behind the back.
3-12 to go. Windsor turning the run away again. That foul goes against Newman. That's five. Gonzalez picked up the personal that time. Okay, here we go. Newman's picking it up a little bit. Trying to, you know... Got and timeout. timeout taken by Coach Kramer. Timeout on the court. Timeout. Windsor. Pretty good time to do that. Everybody, get everybody on the same page. Know the situation. And it gives me a chance to let you know tonight's game is sponsored by SoCo Property. They proudly support Cardinal Newman. Caroline Fuller, the founding broker, has been enthusiastically serving Sonoma County's real estate needs and exceeding expectations for the past 18 years. You can't go wrong with Caroline Fuller and Associates. The key to the best move you'll make. Also, corrective exercise and restoration. They specialize in team and individual training and a holistic approach toward health care. Get your athlete back on the field, back on the court as quickly as possible with corrective exercise and restoration. Also, Anchor 21 promotional branding. Go to anchor21branding.com. You can order sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, all your promotional needs. They specialize in tremendous customer service. Anchor 21 branding. So Coach Kramer talking things over with his squad right now. I imagine he's going to be talking about not rushing things. Trying not to foul, though that's been a pretty good strategy against Newman tonight. Their defensive strategy that Coach Kramer and his staff put together was excellent. Um, yeah, you want to play D, get rebounds, and just, you know, keep being aggressive offensively. Rosati with a drive and a sweet pass to Kraft for the easy layup, just like Coach Kramer drew it up. Kraft makes it 43 32. Clock stops. And Klein will go back to the free throw line. Dave, the rumor I'm getting is Montgomery lost to Piner tonight. Oh my goodness. Sam Klein got the first one. Right there, there's a drive by Rosati. A little behind the head pass to Kraft, who's running in. Gets the layup and it keeps, uh, keeps it adding and being aggressive in what you want. Second one, no good. Again, Newman struggling from the line. They pulled it within 10. Under three minutes to play here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. And Hayden Anderson wide open. Anderson, you're two. Easy bucket. 45-31 at the other end. No good. And a foul. Tonight it might be Newman, the team that struggles to hit 40 points. Krillich picked up the foul. Timeout on the court. Not sure timeout. who took that timeout. Looks like uh, that might have been oh, Newman taking yep. that one. Both teams have three remaining. Tonight's game sponsored by Elite Excursions, a local transportation business serving Sonoma, Napa, and Marin counties for over 15 years, specializing in wine tours, weddings, sporting events, airport transport. Anytime you want to get there safe, on time, and in style, dial up Elite Excursions. Upset in the making. Just a couple minutes to go here. And Windsor has a big lead. Not impossible to come back with the three-point line, but Newman just hasn't shot the ball well at all tonight. Full court press by Newman. Let's see if they get a trap anywhere. Here it is. Windsor handles it. And there's a foul by Gonzalez. That's going to put Finn Grace at the line because that is seven now. Finn 
Brandon Grace, the senior, doesn't get it. Let's see if Newman gets a quick three or a quick drive to the basket. They do. Points number two. Basket good that time. 45-35. Timeout with 157 to go. Newman's strategy now has to be to foul. And here's Rosati now at the line. I assume the talk would be, hey, let's try to put anyone but Rosati on the line. Some yeah. of the guys who haven't, you know, shot free throws or haven't scored tonight. But it works. Yeah, Rosati misses. He has 15 points thus far. Still a 10-point lead. Klein has not hit a field goal. There's Krillix for three, and he got it. Much needed basket right there for Drew Krillix. And a timeout taken. Wow. The w Being in their home gym with this type of crowd, um, Newman's still in this game. Krillich, big three right there. Tonight's game sponsored by North Bay Elite, the premier girls AAU programming in Sonoma County. They have players playing at the Division I, Division II, Division III, and NAIA levels. They scour the country looking for the best tournaments and get exposure for all their players. The North Bay Elite. 148 to go. Newman back to within seven. I imagine, that, yep, full court press, try to get a double team in the backcourt, try to get a steal. If not, then foul. Ball was kicked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Windsor. And another timeout. timeout. Coach Kramer wants a quick 30. Or wait, did Windsor take that? Well, I got both teams with two timeouts, so let's just call it good there. Wow. Postseason play is not far off. Take a look at the Division Three rankings. San Ramon Valley with a strength of schedule of 16.2 is number one. Cardinal Newman. This was before they won on Thursday, so they had it still at 18 0. Then Camp Belinda, Salesian, Venetia, Redwood, Montgomery, and Windsor in the eight and nine holes, but that could change. I just like to see multiple North Bay teams in the mix, Dave. Yeah. That is your NCS Division II power rankings. Windsor gets it inbound. 140 to go. Rosati has it. Tries to make a move on Klein. Windsor content to work the shot clock down. They're going for a steal and they get it. Vogenson takes it away and lays it in at the other end. Big play right there for Vogenson. Newman to within five and another timeout. Newman takes this one. My goodness. That was crazy. Let's take a look. I thought they were just going to foul him. Yeah, end up getting their hand on the ball. Right there, Vogelson, you know, Grace turns his back. Vogelson just does a good job getting down, beating the pack, getting the layup. And I believe... Yeah, Windsor called that timeout. Okay. That means I got to put one back up for Newman. Take one off for Windsor. Team huddle right there. Coach Kramer's got to be talking about their press break, um, being strong with the ball, knowing knowing that that double team is going to come or half court and or they're going to foul and just be ready to, you know, get into your free throw routine and knock it down and then back on the defensive side, stick to the game plan, keep the ball in the paint, know who the three-point shooters are, know that Klein's due to, you know, to, to launch a, a three and, and, and hit it anytime. Yeah, boy, I mean, if you're Newman and you 
have had your leading scorer held to two points on the night, hasn't hit a field goal, you're lucky to even be thinking about a comeback right now. I heard a great quote from Mel Arnrich that says, if you're hot, keep shooting, and if you're cold, keep shooting. <laughs> yeah. Inbound for Windsor. They do get it in. Trying to beat it deep. Klein is there for a steal, however. Oh, my goodness. Klein looking for his first field goal tonight. Gets it to Bogenson. Bogenson weaves his way in and lays it in. Newman down by three. Under a minute to go. Double team in the corner. Rosati has it now. Calmly brings it back up top. If you're Newman, when do you foul? Shot clock at 15. A lot th of clock being weaved down here. I, I think Newman can play defense and just get a stop and everything would work. Oh! What happened? Looks like we got a foul call that's going to go against Newman. Yeah, at that point with eight seconds left on the shot clock, I think uh, they just lost their balance and bumped into it. They, they weren't trying to foul because, you know, there is a differential, and we'll see if uh, Kraft can knock down his free throws. Colin Kraft, the junior. Got it. It's a big one. Lead back up to four. Second one good as well. Couple of clutch free throws right there. Klein with a bomb way off the mark. And that could just about do it. Rosati has it. Newman almost came up with that stop, but then the foul. It's a two possession game. 29 seconds to go. Rosati got the first one. That's a biggie. This one even bigger to make it a three possession game. Got it. Got them both. Seven point lead, under 30 seconds to go. Bogenson fouled and he'll go to the line. 21 seconds to go. Okay, I'm gonna be optimistic that Bogenson makes both free throws. That puts Newman down five, two possessions. They gotta. Now they don't have the uh, luxury of waiting to foul after half, half court. 16 points for Bogenson. Makes it a six point game. Doesn't get it. Even better, they got an offensive rebound and Vero Pueo puts it back in. Just as good as a three-pointer. Yeah. Under Got 10 a foul. seconds to go. They do foul. Stopping the clock with nine seconds to go. This might be a good foul for Newman. I don't have uh, Campbell shooting free throws yet tonight. Do you, Dave? No. He has not been at the line. He has scored. Doesn't get that one. And Coach Taylor almost at half court saying, hey, I want to ice him right now. I want to use a timeout right now. Timeout. So Newman takes another timeout. What a crazy game. Windsor trying to be the first team to knock off Newman all year long. Bogenson's done a nice job down the stretch here trying to pick up. Still in a dribble drive. Bogenson 
gets that basket right there. Danger zone gets fired up about that. Down four with just nine seconds to go. That's tough. Team's coming back up now. It'll be Campbell's second free throw. Doesn't get it. Ball, last touch, Windsor. Wow. Windsor fans didn't think so. It was close. Very close. I'd like to see that replay again. Yeah. Here comes Bogenson. Rosati tried to take the charge. Bogenson for three, and he banks it in. At the buzzer. That was a three. Hang on, hang on. Clear the court. There's zeros on the clock. Officials are going to have to talk this over. I, I saw Coach Taylor put up three. The clock was running. There looks like about three seconds left. They might be coming over and asking he us for help. He did have him. a timeout. It's a one-point game. They're going to put three seconds on, I believe. Yep, three seconds. We'll do the same. Wow. Well, Dave, I'm really glad you texted me and asked me if I wanted to come hang out and watch the <laughs> Newman Windsor big it. game. <laughs> yeah, great finish here. Hard to believe that it's this close considering it's a 12-point game about halfway through this fourth hey, quarter. Give Coach Taylor and his staff and the kids at Cardinal Newman, um, hey, they're 19-0 for a reason. Um, they stuck to it. They grinded it out. They're, they're right there. Um, but overall, all the student athletes and the coaches involved, uh, um, excellent job tonight. Newman did get that timeout. If you're Windsor, you still got one timeout. You can throw it long. It's not ideal. And if it were to get st stolen, you're, you know, a three-quarter yeah, shot. Right. Worst comes to worst. They get it in. Newman fouls quickly. One second went off the clock. One and a half officially. And so to the other end it goes. It's going to be Finn Grace. That's going to say Grace to the line. Now, if Finn makes the first one, I wonder if Coach Kramer just looks at him and says, you know, miss the second one exactly. on purpose. Yeah. Coach Kramer, I believe, may take his last time out. He has one left here to talk about just that. Finn Grace at the line. Two seconds to go. Got the first one. Back up to a two-point lead. Newman does not have a timeout, so for them to be able to get the ball anywhere near midcourt and get off a shot at the buzzer is going to be really tough in 1.5. And you're looking to draw a foul, and if your wins are no fouls. He got them both. 51. Newman can throw it long now. Krillich. Got to throw it. Got to throw, throw it long. He throw. does. Get it off. Diego Gonzalez gets the shot off, but it hits the front iron. Just 
that close. And it is a final. Wow. Diego Gonzalez got a pretty good look there. I was surprised there was any time to go there. Here it is. That might have been the longest 1.5 of our day, Dave. Yeah. Good job by Diego getting open and, and just even giving him a shot. Man, I'm not sure if they would have counted that. It was really close as to whether or not it left his hands in time. Doesn't matter. This one is over. Newman suffers their first loss of the year. Congratulations to the Windsor Jaguars. They get it done here on the road tonight against Cardinal Newman. That's going to do it for our coverage here tonight. Hope you have enjoyed it. What a game. Windsor wins it 51 to 48. We'll be back real soon with more Game of the Week action right here on YSN365.com. Thank you.